I'm the oldest person alive as far as knowing Bill because I was there the day he was born. And the one thing I probably remember more than anything was when I was a sophomore in college, I got a call from my mom. And she was concerned because she had found out she was pregnant and wanted to let me know before I came home for Christmas vacation. And it turned out to be she was pregnant with Bill. Well, as soon as she hung up, I started running up and down the hallway yelling, I'm gonna be an uncle, I'm gonna be an uncle. And the one thing I remember most about him growing up is he was one of the few people I ever met that knew exactly what he wanted to do when he grew up, and that was become a lawyer. So he started from a very, very early age planning this out, whereas the rest of his siblings, we just kind of woke up every day and hoped we got through the day. Bill was uh, uh, the product of two of the best parents anybody could ever have, and he was molded since birth by his parents. And his parents, uh, one of the amazing things they did is they spearheaded the uh, construction of Christ the King Church, and it's considered the jewel box of all the Catholic churches in Dallas. Uh, my dad was probably the single largest supporter of Jesuit High School. Back many, many years ago, when I went to school there, I was fortunate enough to, to earn a scholarship, and my dad used to always say how much money that ended up costing him. But because he had an in with uh, Sears Roebuck where he worked, he was able to foster a sense of giving and, and community involvement and things of that nature, which really took off during that period of time. And Bill, being so much like my dad, has carried that on forward and is, is probably the most giving individual I think I've ever met. Bill Sladek was formed into a man for others from two specific outside sources. One was his mother in particular, his parents. Second was Jesuit. When Bill's mother passed away, I went to her funeral and it was easy to see how Bill became the man he is today. He, he, he is a living example of what his mother lived. Yeah, mom was very involved in service and volunteer time and effort and everything else. Encouraged all of her children to give back much more than they ever received. We are members of the class of 1978, but our past cross in 1974 as beanie wearing freshmen, last class to wear beanies, by the way, and to have senior court and a lot of other things that, that seemed really funny at the time. Uh, Bill and I were quite possibly the two shortest guys in the class, and that was our most distinguishing feature, at least back in 1974. Hopefully over the next four years, we both did things to set ourselves apart and further distinguish ourselves, but being short and wearing beanies was our fate in August of 1974. In those days, uh, the beanie had a button on it and they would beat you uh, in the head and the button would obviously uh, uh, leave bruises on you know, the top of your head that you would never forget. But Bill was, uh, he was one to get his, uh, let's say, beanie run very often. Europe tour after our junior year in high school. And that was back way before uh, the Euro. And so Bill played a role in helping us all understand the six different currencies that we had to be able to know without looking at a chart. And uh, so that, that helped make the trip a lot easier and a lot more fun without getting ripped off. Yeah, Bill was uh, an amazing student and uh, he did very, very well. And, uh, but it all came very easily to him. And one time we had to write a paper together and. Uh, we were at it for about 30 minutes, and he had written 13 pages with all the footnotes, et cetera, all you know, completely done, and I hadn't even gotten to page one. We had a fantastic senior year in football, and at the end of the year, there's a football banquet, an awards banquet, and Bill was given the most special trophy, which is the Ranger Heart Award. And I tell you, he didn't just earn that award that year. He's earned that award every year since then. Now, I came across this picture, and two things jumped out at me. Number one, the list of accolades next to him was almost longer than the picture. That they basically went outside the margin of the pictures. And this was legitimate stuff. And all that was great. But when you look at the picture, Bill is wearing a leisure suit. And when you look at it 
and then you look at the list of accolades, it totally discredits the list of accolades because as great as he was, fact is, he wore a leisure suit for his senior picture. Shame on you, Bill. Bill has um, organized and spearheaded the Bridge um, Feed the Homeless program, the Jesuit ministry. Every third Saturday, he's organizing 18 to 20 people to go down and feed the homeless. Uh, he's persistent. He's always making sure he's got the, enough people to satisfy their requirements. And I personally have been involved in that with him. And uh, that's an example of one of the ways he stepped up to serve his community and to serve Jesuit. What I admire most about Bill is his continuing con uh, service work. He always comes with a smile. It's always, what can I do to help? And, it, and he, he seems to get in doesn't ask any questions as to how to do it. He just gets involved in it and just gets it done. Here at St. Vincent de Paul, we have an after-school tutoring program, and Bill Sladek is our ACE volunteer. He has been here since the beginning with his wife Mary and daughter Maddie and anyone else he can find to bring. He's our biggest cheerleader, and the kids absolutely adore him. I believe the Jesuit is recognizing Bill as the Distinguished Alumnus of the Year for one reason. They simply had to. Bill has been living the purpose-driven life since before the purpose-driven life became cool. Bill's life has always been about God, family, and others. And anyone who knows Bill knows that his service to others is paramount in his life. My father was a distinguished alumnus back in the late 90s, and I think that's the highest compliment that I can give Bill is he reminds me a lot of my own father in, in, the, in the way it's just giving to other people what they need. He has his values and he has his beliefs and he sticks to them and he lives them. Um, it's about integrity and it's about honesty and it's about trust and community. The things that are important to him, he talks the talk and he walks the walk um, and he does what he can to help other people do the same. Bill is, is not a man for others. Bill is a superman for others. Bill, thank you for being such a great friend. I can't thank you enough uh, and, and tell you how much your friendship means to me. On behalf of everyone here at Jesuit College Prep, congratulations on this well-deserved recognition. You're truly a man for others, and I'm so proud of you on this day. Congrats. You been a great help to me uh, and a great help to our clients that are here today. We thank you, we appreciate you, and good luck to you, buddy. Thank you so much. So on behalf of the St. Vincent de Paul Study Time Program, especially our kids, we want to give a big thank you to Mr. Bill and a congratulations on a much-deserved recognition. We love you, Bill. Bro, just to let you know how incredibly proud I am of you, and I think you know how proud mom and dad are. Fortunately, they can't be here, but they are in spirit. I think this is an incredibly worthy honor. Uh, again, I'm so proud of you. Uh, just keep up the good work. I just want to say congratulations, Dad. Uh, you really deserve this award. Um, and I want to thank you for uh, giving me the gift of an appreciation for service and the integral part that it plays to being a, a whole person and to really getting the most out of life and congratulations. Uh, I love you and, um, and I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud to be your son. So thanks. Hey Dad, just want to do congratulate you on your award. You put in a lot of hard work and you definitely deserve it. True man for others. Congratulations, Dad. I'm so happy that you're being recognized with this award. I'm not surprised. I'm very, very proud of you. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. We love you. Dad, I know how much the Jesuit motto Man for Others means to you. So much so that you wanted me to apply to Jesuit. Even though I couldn't go there, you still taught me what it means to serve others through your example. Congratulations, and I love you. Honey, you bring me tears of joy. I can't begin to tell you how truly proud I am of you and what a gift and treasure you are to our family. I was blessed back in 1978, the day you bought two Nestle's Crunch candy bars, which helped buy an ad in the Ursuline yearbook. You were being a man for others the day I met you on this Jesuit campus. 
Almost 33 happy, happy years later, you've continued your love and legacy onto our family, and we are all better people because of you. Your effortless desire to help others is a contagious act that I've admired and watched you learn from your mom and dad. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree, and I know your parents are both looking down from heaven, smiling on the man that you are. Your motto is God first, others second, and you third. We are all blessed by your love and example. Congratulations on the Distinguished Alumnus Award. I can't think of a better person to receive this than you, and I am honored and proud to be your wife. Thank you for being the person God calls you to be. I love you.